Welcome to Lumion video tutorial number two. In this tutorial, we will go through the object library and object placement in Lumion. Lumion comes with the whole library of objects that you can use to decorate your project. You can find them in the bottom left section, Objects tab. Now let's decorate our scene with a few trees. To do that, select the Nature category. Click the Placement button and this will bring up a display of all the trees and plants and other nature objects available in the Lumion library. Like you see, there's many pages of even just broadleaf trees that you can select from. And there are even conifers, palms, and so forth. If you know a particular tree type that you have in mind, you can also use the search option. For example, we want to place an oak tree. Now even of just oak trees, there are two pages available of different sizes and different subtypes. Let's just take the first one. As soon as you select one, it's available under the cursor. Clicking in the scene, and you can place the object. If you want to change the size or position later on, you can go to Select. Click on the object, go to the little dot, and change the position or change the rotation. Clicking on it and rotating the mouse. Or change the size, moving the mouse up and down. So even with one tree object, you can still place multiple copies and make them all look slightly different. Instead of doing this after you place them, you can also do it just before you place them. Let's go back to the Place button. For example, if you press the R key before we click in the scene, we can change the rotation of the object or the height, which is for trees, not so interesting, but for example, birds or flying objects, it will be relevant. Or change the size with the L key Clicking on it and it will be placed. So we can change these things before placement or after placement. If you think one of the objects is still not suitable, you can just click on delete. If you know the exact position of an object, you can go into the type in section here. Click on the object and now change the coordinates. As soon as you select an object, in the top right, the Property section becomes available. We can change transparency, for example, if you want to position an object in front of a house, but still be able to see through the object. You can change some colors of the object, or saturation, or even arrange within the selected color. All the objects you imported using the import function are still available in other projects as well. To place these, go to the import section, placement, and here you will see right now we only imported one object, but it's still available for placement at a later stage in the same project or in other projects. So you can create your own library for example, of third-party objects or objects you created yourself, trees, cars, people, and they will all become available here. So let's change the position of this tree for now. For your own imported objects, it's still possible to make changes in your CAD file and re-import it in an easy way. Just click here on Re-Import, and the model with these changes will be re-imported, and any other changes you might have made to the model will remain intact. For example, you saw now the chimney was positioned earlier over here, and after the re-import, it was positioned over here. So it's good for you to go through all the different object categories. 
see what's available in the library to decorate your projects. To place a few people, for example, in front of the house. So for people, for example, if you do not like them to show up photographically, you can make them completely black, completely white. You can select multiple objects of the same type. And the type that is selectable is indicated with the button that you selected over here. Like when I press this button, only people will be available for selection. Selecting them either with a control key or control and drag a box around them. And now you can color them all simultaneously. Or you can create a group from them. In this group you can save so it becomes available for other projects. This concludes Lumion 9 Tutorial 2 where we showed you how to place objects from the Lumion library in your scene and how to shift them rescale them, rotate them. In the next session, we will show you how to deal with materials.